how to configure flexible net flow flow sampling. Flow samplers are created as separate components in a router's configuration. Flow samplers are used to reduce the load on the device that is running by limiting the number of packets that are selected for analysis. Flow sampling exchanges monitoring accuracy for router performance. When you apply a sampler to a monitor, to a flow monitor, the overhead load on the router of running the flow monitor is reduced because the number of packets that the flow monitor must analyze is reduced. The reduction in the number of packets that are analyzed by the flow monitor causes a corresponding reduction in the accuracy of the information stored in the flow monitor's cache. Samplers are combined with flow monitors when they are applied to an interface when the IP flow monitor with the IP flow monitor command. So this is so basically same steps with configuring uh, flexible net flow. The the step that I added is the step that I added is basically step four and I added the part where you apply the or enable sampler uh, together with flow monitor under the interface. But first, I need to uh, you know follow these steps. So I'm using the same topology, and I'm going to configure. Of course, I I removed. I tried this myself first. So, I'm going to just copy and paste these commands on router one, on R one. So, uh, here just to explain it a bit, explain this uh, topology a bit. I have PC one, and it's got layer three connectivity with R one, and R2. So basically, but here, uh, NetFlow connector, this is just, this is not really working because this is just a basically a router. I'm, it, I'm not going to configure it. So I'm just going to configure R1. And like I said, PC1, R1, and R2, they have uh, connectivity. So I'm going to do the configurations now. So global, okay. Just going to copy and paste. Okay, done. Oops. That's the flow record configuration. And next is flow exporter configuration. So best practice is to use loopback interface, but I'm not going to use the loopback. Just going to use the LAN interface, which is this gig zero slash zero. Okay, done. And next step is create a flow monitor, which is this. Let's copy and paste these commands. Done. So also as a best practice, you must uh, configure cache timeout active to one minute or 60 seconds. So this is in seconds. This is in seconds. And this is, so step four is how you well, you can, you know, uh, you don't have to really uh, do this step by step. Uh, you can either, I mean, you can configure sampler uh, anytime. So uh, it doesn't have to be sequential. 
that's what I mean. So here sampler sampler name is this. And if I do question mark, I can specify the mode. And I'm just doing this particular mode out of two. I mean random one out of two. And of course, you can specify a description as well, but I'm not going to do that. So done. So now I can assign the flow monitor and the flow sampler to the interface to uh, enable sampling. So basically, I am enabling it inbound here on gig zero slash one on R1. So I don't have, I can remove that because that's already configured. Done. So I can just do show, I mean show run to config, uh, verify our configurations. So you have the flow record, uh, flow exporter, flow monitor, and sampler configurations and it is apply like i said inbound to under this gig zero slash one and now we can use these commands as well to verify oh no uh, it should be sampler one Okay, so export ID two description user defined, which is I did not define any. Type random rate out of one out of two. Sample requests. Okay, inbound. Okay. And this here, this is where you can check your flow monitor cache. Don't have. I mean, I actually don't see entries here, current entries, no, zero, because I'm not running any uh, traffic on the network. So uh, to generate some traffic, I will perform a ping from R2. So here, this is R2, and I will ping PC1 which is this is IP address 10.10.1.100. And I will issue this command here so I can just check the uh, cache, the flow monitor cache, cache. And I'm using the aggregate, aggregate, you know, the, I'm aggregating, aggregating the IPv4 source address and IPv4 destination address, and I'm specifying the application name, counter bytes long format table. Done. So I see a flow here. So since it's the flow monitor is applied inbound, I see that R2 is the source and PC1 is the destination, and application or protocol name is ICMP, OneFlow. I can also try to turn it from PC1 to R2. Make it a little bigger. So I can try to turn it into R2, which is 192.168, oops, 192.168.1.2. And I should be able to see traffic as well. So from R1, so I see that uh, I see telnet traffic. 
So source is same R2 because the flow monitor is applied inbound. So coming into the router. So I mean R1. So R1 is going to see that R2 is the source and destination is PC1. And of course, the these are the long bytes, I mean bytes. So basically the, the size of the, the size of the packet. Packets and of course the flows. So yeah, that's how you can configure flexible net flow. Uh, flow sampling.